the name on here and i am back with another video all right guys so today we are doing something different okay i didn't seen the trend where everybody was trying african food for the first time i didn't get to do it but today is the day so if you're interested stay tuned because we're about to get right into the video all right y'all so uh it's a whole situation period it's a lot going on in this car i really don't know where to start um i did give me some fufu some pounded yams, something I too have never tried before. Um, let me wet my fingertips because I seen, I seen that. I'm really about to make a mess in my car, but it's just water. I'm just going, I done seen people do this where they wash their hands before they eat to do the same thing. I did use hand sanitizer. Y'all can't help it. Y'all know I got a thing for that. I always wanted to try some fufu. So let's start, let's start right here so I can see what's going on. I do not know how well this is going to go in the car. I don't know. You know, I I don't know. This stuff seems like you should definitely be at a table. Right now I'm at work, so you know you gotta make it work. All right, let me taste this. Let me see. What is it? Y'all taste like mashed potato. That's very good. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and start right here, which I think this is Igusi soup. If I'm not mistaken, I'm going to get y'all close up. Don't worry and about this it. This is the Igusi, Igusi soup. I think that's what it's called, if I'm not mistaken. Here we have it. Make a little ball. It's very loose. And I don't want nothing spilling in my car. And I think you're supposed to get a little dip, baby. Dip. Come on now. Now, everybody, now here's the trick. Because some people are saying you're not supposed to chew it. Some people are saying you just supposed to throw it down the hatchet. Now I could try. I'm gonna try to throw it down the hatchet first. But if things start to get a little too tricky, I'm gonna have to chew it. Okay. No disrespect. So let me put the disclaimer out now. All right. It was like I did a little chew. It was like I did a chew and a swallow. Hold on. Let me let me try again. Let me try again. I ain't do that right. Okay. All right, let me see. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Just take it back. It's a shot. I can't do it. I can't do it. But this, this is good. Hold up. Because it's hitting on something. Hold on, hold on. This right here, I like them. I can't, y'all, I cannot, I'm trying, I can't get it. I can't get it to just go back there like that. I'm a child. <laughs> no, because... No, because I'm going to choke. I am not built like that. Y'all built different. Hold on. And it's got some beef in it, so let's try that. Eat a little beef. Mmm. Hold on. Mmm. Y'all, this bond, especially when you start to get a little swing of it. When you get a swing of what you're supposed to do. Mmm. Hold on, because I like this one. That was good. All right, this is the Efro Rero. This is the Efro Rero with cassava leaves. I hope I said this right, y'all. I apologize if I did. I am so sorry about the pronunciation, because, like, what? Well, this smell a little bit like collard greens. Just giving a little bit of kind of collard greens. Hold on. All right. All right. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, I really wish that I could explain what this tastes like. I don't have anything to compare it to. I don't have nothing outside of, outside of these... Outside of these cassava leaves really do taste like collard greens, though, for real. Mm. 
this does not taste like anything I've ever tasted. Mm. Is that a little spicy, spicy on the back end? Oh, it got a little spicy, spicy on it. Mm -hmm. I know I like that. I like that. Hold on. Let me get a little bit more. Mm. Hold up, because what's that? That's a little beef in here, too. It's a little surprise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I like this. Mm-hmm. Take that. Do that. Do one of them moves. And then you dip it like that. Mm, dip it just like that. And you hit one of these. Mm. Child. Baby. Why did I not try this before? Mm -hmm. It's good though. I am very satisfied. Hold on. Where the top at? Woo! What could I compare that to? Nothing, y'all. I can't compare it to nothing. I'm not going to lie to y'all. This is cassava leaves over jollof rice. Let me give you a close-up. All right, y'all. So this is the cassava leaves over jollof rice. And it says something about peanut butter. So I'm assuming there's some peanut butter in there. Okay, trying to give you as good of a close-up as I can get. I'm going to use a fork for this one. This is the only one that I'm kind of like a little nervous about. Very nervous about. Because just the look of it is not that appealing. You know what I mean? But... Hmm... Y'all, and I'm going to tell y'all, I'm determined not to disrespect anybody's culture. So, mm-mm. 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 Whoo! All right, I had to take a little intermission, y'all, because, first of all, I'm not about to disrespect nobody's culture. And that's authentic African food. So, I really was not about to do that. I honestly already knew that that one was going to give me a challenge. I think it's just a bit too rich in flavor for me. I'm really just not used to those flavors. So I already knew when I smelled it, when I seen it, that I was going to have a little challenge with probably getting that down. Um, However, this Igusi soup, baby, this thing hit this one right here, out of all three of the things I had, has to be my favorite. I ain't gonna hold you, y'all. It was that. This one is probably the best. Simply the best. Yeah, I like this one way better. I like this one the most. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I do. You add a little beef. Mm. Y'all have had authentic African food before. Which do you like the most? What are you? What is your go-to like meal? Mm. But I'm telling y'all, the beef, that's the best part. Mm -hmm. I am so curious to know what kind of seasonings y'all use. Because what? This is so good. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to have to go back to my desk and eat this. I know them folks going to be like, what in the world? What does she, what, what she got going on today? I'm always up to something, you know? Look, y'all, I'm going to head out. Go and finish up my lunch. But if you happen to want to try some, get you some Igusi soup. That thing is all right with me. With some uh, pounded yams. My hands all dirty. I'm sorry, y'all. Get you some of that. I going to hold you. I ain't mad at you. Thank you. No, thank you. Okay? Look, y'all. I got to go back to work. Don't tell nobody, okay? This is my late day, too. I'm going to be here for a long time. But I said I just could not not give y'all no video. Plus, this is something I wanted to try for quite some time, and I'm glad I did. You hear me? Which leads me to say, y'all, don't be a, don't be afraid to try new things. We got to step up out of our comfort zone, okay? We so used to sticking to what we know. Sometimes you don't know how you stepping outside your comfort zone can elevate you to a level you never even thought was possible, okay? And that's on period. All right, y'all, look. <clears throat> I really do got to go. I hate to have to eat and run, but 
See ya. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell so you'll know every time I upload. Until next time, guys. Peace.